What's up, you guys? Uh, 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a uh, 3.6 liter right over there. Uh, overheating issues. To fix your overheating issues, you need to take a look at a few things, okay? First of all, check your energies, okay? So some people would overheat on a highway or, or local. It depends on your scenario. Sometimes you have the AC on. So when you have AC on, you need airflow. If you're running locally, you need airflow because you're going to stop at red light, stop signs. But uh, on a highway, you're going to get that wind. Your car is going to cool off. So if that's the scenario, your car is not overheating on a highway, but locally does, most likely your radiator fan over here, this guy, okay, let's see. If I can put the camera in here. This little guy right here is not working, okay? First of all, what I like to do is make sure the car is nice and cold. You don't want to touch anything that's hot. The fan can come on any minute, okay? Even with the key out, it can come on. Okay, what I like to do is um, check my antifreeze level. So this one is full. If you take a light to the back, if you can't see, you will see it better that way. So yeah, you can see. So make sure your antifreeze is full. So if your antifreeze is not full, you're going to overheat regardless. Anyways, after that, you want to check your water pump for leaks. Water pump is right down there. Check for water pump for leaks. Uh, do your thermostat on time, guys. Don't even ask me, can my thermostat be bad? Because the answer is, pull out the thermostat, put it in the boiling water. Does it open and close? Does it open and close? What's the point of doing that when you can just do it out? You might as well just replace your thermostat. So you do your thermostat at 60,000 miles, okay? But other than that, one more basic thing that you could check is, um, you're going to come to your fuel box here. So you're going to push this tab and this tab at the same time. And you're going to pop open this one. Once it's straight up, you could just pull this guy part in here you got fuses and relays so let me show you some fuses and relays i'm gonna put this light uh okay the light is so bright so if you cut if you look at this little guy and it's gonna tell you here um it's gonna tell you fans and fuses okay so what we're looking at is uh radiator fan f03 radiator fan f03 this thing is set up just the way that fuses box. If you look, if you look at it just directly, just like if you place it like that, everything is in order. Uh, okay, so we're looking at uh, radiator fan is F three. F three is right here. So the fuse we're looking at is F three, and then uh, we're looking at one more, uh, two more things, which are gonna be uh, relays. Okay, so let me find the relays. Okay, I'm looking for relays. I know these are the relays for this baby, but I just want to pinpoint it here. We're going to go into, okay, K1 and K2. Okay, you see that? K1, K2, radiator fan low speed, radiator fan high speed, okay? So these two relays right here are high and low, okay? F, F1 is, a uh, K1 is this. This is low speed. This is high speed. Buy yourself two new relays. Don't swap it with another one. And replace them regardless if you got 60, 70,000 miles on it. Okay, right in the middle, you got a fuse, okay? Um, the fuse we was looking at was uh, F1 right here, okay? I'm sorry, F3. F3 is right there. F3 right here, radiator fan. So we got right here this yellow fuse here. This is, uh, I cannot tell how many amps this is. It doesn't say it on it. Um, this is your uh, fuse right here for the radiator fans. So one, two, three, right next to each other. You want to check that. You do have a fuse puller over here, but this is not going to work on this. This is for miniature fuses. And that's about it over here. So we're going to move a little bit further. Once you're done checking here, you do want to close this guy. Do not leave this open because the rain water will get in. So you're going to have to push it down really hard and, and a certain angle like this, right, this area right here. So once you get that lid on, close this up so pretty much to get this on you're gonna have to hold it in this angle here if you try here it didn't go in for me right here it did go right there clicked in and make sure this thing closes and you should not be able to open this guy that easy okay anyways another thing you want to do is you want to check your connector here okay you got a little resistor in here okay this can fail and cause issues is whatever this is okay this, it's like a little resistor it's cool it's like a little module in here it does have a bolt down there you have to remove the connector 
But another thing you could do is use a test light to check positive and negative. This black cable should be a, a positive and this blue one should be, uh, I'm sorry, this should be negative and this should be positive. If you get the car on nice and hot and it is, if you start to see that it's starting to go up the gauge or the temperature, you can immediately check this fan if it comes on. Okay, it's very common for these fans to fail. It's a single fan. It runs all year long, especially with the AC. Uh, it might work on a low speed. It's not going to do its job, and, but you could, you could do that. Those are just the basics that you could check, and that's about it. But if you keep eye on these things, change out your relays and the thermostat, and fan will be the last thing you want it to go. Check your antifreeze. Nothing else really fails. If your antifreeze is low, it keeps going low, and you see leaks, that's an issue also. Also, one more thing, one more concern I want to point out. If you're doing a highway driving, I had a customer, like a lot of mosquitoes, bugs, all kinds of stuff was packed up in the from the radiator. So you can barely, uh, airflow can barely flow through it. Also, right between the AC condenser and, uh, AC condenser and, uh, radiator, it was all jammed in between dirt, debris, leaves, uh, not leaves, like a, like uh, the pollen stuff was in there and there was no airflow. Fans work is Infinity G37 and there was no airflow. That's another thing you might be bear, be aware of, but everything got to be checked out, okay? Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully I help you guys out to resolve your overheating issues on this Jeep. If you got another year, it should be similar. Thank you for watching.